Hello, I'm Dave Muir from Skyway Software. And in this video, I'm going to use My Eclipse for Spring and the My Eclipse UML2 capabilities to take a simple class diagram, transform that into a running Spring MBC application, and then taking that project and pushing it back into UML. So I've got My Eclipse for Spring 8.5. And you'll notice I've created a simple Java project that has an initial class diagram. And it's just got a, a simple com cf domain package that has a feedback class uh, with a, a feedback identifier, a primary key, as well as a content field. And so to transform this into Java, I'm first going to create a, a web project. And I'll name it Customer Feedback. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the Spring capabilities uh, by going to My Eclipse on the Context menu and selecting Add Spring Code Generation Capabilities. I'll select Finish, uh, accepting all the defaults. But if you go to the educational materials on myeclipseid.com, you'll find out everything that this creates for and bootstraps your projects, like the Spring libraries, all the Spring context files. But for now, I've got my web project, and I'm going to take that UML diagram and select My Eclipse Generate Java. And I'm actually going to place it in the customer feedback. Okay, so I could have put the UML diagram in the same project. But uh, I wanted to separate it out, and I'm going to go ahead and choose that folder, click Finish. And you'll notice in the Source folder, I now have my Java um, Pojo. From a My Eclipse Spring standpoint, I can now right-click this uh, Java file and um, go to My Eclipse and select Scaffold Spring MVC CRUD Application From. When I do that, the wizard understands that I'm coming from a Java bean. All I have to do is choose the primary key, uh, click next to uh, change the package or accept it, click next to choose the database connection, and then you get a summary screen. I'm going to click finish, and that's going to actually create all the operations, all the architecture layers in the web contents to support uh, create, read, update, and delete operations for this project. So you'll notice that um, a DAO arc, uh, layer is, has been created, service layer, and web layer. And we have a ton of resources around scaffolding as well, if you'd like to learn more. I'm going to go ahead and um, run this on the My Eclipse server application. And as that's uh, running, I'm just going to show you a little bit more what, what has been created. So you can see all the Java files there, all of the Spring context files that are needed. And then, of course, the libraries in the web root contains all of the uh, different, um, you know, web contents that you would expect. So this is site mesh enabled. It has all the pages in here to support create, read, update, delete, uh, as well as a CSS file and, uh, you know, the, the standard spring context files. So I've got my running app, and now I can do CRUD operations like uh, list. Uh, my feedback or create new feedback and you can see that it has some uh, validation through uh, Spring JavaScript or Dojo and you know you can do certain operations here I'm going to create this record I can select it and I can um, edit or delete it as well so I've got my running app I'm now going to uh, take these uh, this generated uh, code and, and push it back into UML. So to do that, I'm going to right click and go to My Eclipse and generate the UML2 class diagram. I'm going to throw it in here and call it CF class diagram final. I'll click finish. And I now have a class diagram that has all of my classes uh, from the Spring Project generated. 